It's coming up. There it is. Oh my god! Oh, oh there was a shark. Oh, it just got smashed by the shark on the surface. It was a Mackie, it jumped. There was a Did you see that shark? You just got railed. Did you see? Morning it? guys, welcome back to another episode of Luke's Fishing Mission. I'm out on the shoals today, having a bit of a jig. Coming out here it was meant to be a glass out this morning. It's certainly there's a big northerly wind and it certainly it was a bit choppy coming out so it was much slower than what I would have liked that's for sure but we've just got to the mark there's plenty of fish on the sounder we've both just dropped down a jig each I'm with my mate Simon and um, we've both just been snipped off without hardly even feeling a touch so there's certainly mackerel around we might lose a few jigs today hopefully we get to show you a few fish but we'll um plenty of shoals here plenty of country to jig so we'll go and do another drift now. The tide is fair ripping. Um, hopefully it slows down soon. But uh, plenty of, of ground to cover with the drifts. Should show you a bit of action anyway. Cheers. Yes, Simon's on. Go on. Oh, I lost him. There's definitely some fish on the sander now. Check it out. Down around that 17 to 20 meter mark and then also a ball up here around five to 10. He was just onto a fish. Did he get busted? Proper. Really? 60 pound gore. Yeah, mate, get down there. There's fish down there everywhere. Check it. Drop it down. That's a good fish. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish on the sounder. Working. See if we can get one to stay on. Wow. Simon's just lost a second jig in about 10 minutes. I've lost one. We've been here 10 minutes and we've lost three jigs. You do it. You go, you rebel. Fish on the sounder. Yeah. Wish this swell would settle down. Yeah, that's not a point. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yes. Oh, yep, still on. Okay, we're on on the jig. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, settle down. We're very erratic. Very erratic. What's going on? Oh, he's over there. What? Spanish. No, Spanish. no hang on. Queen. Big Queenie. Oh, whoa. He's all over the shop. That's a good Queenie. Yeah, he's hard to stay upright. I'll tell you that much. Well, really. That's a dog. I'll try and bring him in. Ready? Well done, mate. That's not easy out here today. That's why he was jumping, eh? Something had to go. Jeez, he's got shredded tail. Proper, and look at the chunk out of the Yeah. Side. He's been. He's been hit by a shark on the way up. That might have been why he was jumping out of the water before. Can't blame him. Woo! Okay. Yeah, guys. Probably a meter queenie. Look, he's been sliced. Oh, where my hand is. That's why he might have been leaping and jumping out of the water. I'm not sure if I got that on footage, on camera. Simon's just trying to stay in the boat here. <laughs> She's a bit rocky. It's a bit rocky. But yeah, this guy jumped out of the water. I don't know if he got it on camera, but um, he's been sliced here. And also here where my hand is. He was obviously being chased by a shark, that's why he was getting acrobatic. Hooked him in about 15 metres of water and came all the way to the top, but that's a great queenie on the major craft jig first thing in the morning. Good start to the day. There's actually a little remora on him. You know you've got a decent fish when you've got remoras hanging off you. That's pretty cool. Get him back. This guy's just stretched the tape to a metre ten. Probably my second biggest queenie I've ever caught. Biggest being 125 on a much lighter rod and reel, but this is a great fish. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. yep. On to something. Not very big. What have we got? I'll try to get it up before the sharks get it. Clearly, there are a few around. Coming up, there it is. Oh my god! Oh, oh there was a shark. Oh, it just got smashed by the shark on the surface. It was a Mackie, it jumped. There was a. Did you see that shark? You just got 
just got rolled. Did you see that? Surface. <sighs> oh, Don't fall in, note to self. <laughs> Jesus! Crazy. That was like a oh. Was a two and a, oh, two two and a half shark. meter shark, yeah. yeah, 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 nice. Oh, you reckon? Oh, yeah, I mean, it might have been upgraded. Oh, no. Far out, that makes it hard, eh? That was about five seconds before that got upgraded. The sharks are out of control. That's that shark. Yeah, that's the shark. Oh, mate, you're putting some hurt on him there. Get it back, go, 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 go. You might get your jig back and half a fish. Is there still a bit of weight on there or not? Oh, you got half a fish on there, mate. Oh, that is what's left. That is not how they swim around down there. Oh my God. Well, the uh, hook and the jig the wrong way work. At least you got the jig back, mate. Look at this, this poor mackerel. Got absolutely slaughtered. What a way to go. Right. Railed by a shark. His eyeballs have even popped out of his head. Look Proper. at this. Oh my god, that is destruction. Destruction to the max. Stacked up. That's what you want to see when you're jigging. They're just off the bottom. Between 15 and 20 meters. Then Simon's on. Don't stuff around, buddy. There's plenty of sharks out there. He's going to own it. Too late? I guess so. Oh no. Straight up, that was a shark kidding me far out this place is insanely out of control isn't it oh what do you do so much good Maybe country not. there oh no Turned him so it might not be a shark excellent be a good fish oh i don't know man oh yeah turn it you are turning it you are winning Slightly. unless you're pulling heads up again <laughs> Bloody heavy head. Which could happen around this place. It's been alleged. Oh, that didn't feel good. Keep going, buddy. Oh, oh. That's solid. Oh, no. You brought my gloves. Oh, I could have a burnt thumb. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Guys, I don't know if you've been following the whole time, but I think we've lost six jigs. We've probably been here about an hour now. We've lost six jigs between us. Simon's lost four. I think I've lost two. Some of them, yep, they've been on mackerel. We've been snipped off legitimately, but some have been where we've hooked a fish and then a shark has railed that fish and taken everything. So there's plenty of action. There's, that's the thing about these shoals. There's plenty of grounds, there's plenty of fish, and there's plenty of bait, but Plenty of sharks too come for that, obviously. It's a dynamic ecosystem down there, it's healthy. But the sharks are just getting a bit ridiculous just quietly. And they're not little reefies, I'm saying. They're, they're whalers and bullies and even probably tigers around this place. Nearly three meters long and, and bigger. You just, you just got no chance. Sort of wrecking this spot on me. All the sharks, can't get a fish past them no matter what you do. No, I think I still got it. Simon's on. Beat the sharks this time, eh? There you go. Little Mackie. Schooly Mack or Spotty Mack. I don't know the difference too much between the Mackies, apart from Spanish. It might be a Spotty, eh? I'll um, put him down there for you. Let you do some go to town on it. Well done, nice to actually get one past the sharks though, mate. And not lose your lure. Got a little vibe on now, have you? Yeah, a little vibe. Nice. Yeah, tide's slowing, so try something different. Still getting pelagics on the vibe though. Just a little macky. Go on. There are sharkies around, mate. You want to be quicker than that. That's uh, no one in the creek down there. Oh, yep, yep. He's on. Okay. Oh, 
it's a heaviest rod and it's just trying to get it up past the shark, so. Oh, now I said it. Come on, where are you? What have we got? What is that? Oh, cobia. Yeah. It's a cobia. Yeah, you grab the net for that. Oh, sorry, that was right. me. Go again. There we go. There we go. Little cobe. A little remora coming off that off that cobia. You guys just got this little cobia on the vibe. That's the 110 mil atomic semi-hard vibe. We've caught a few cobia here at this spot. This is probably the smallest one I've caught. If he goes legal, we'll take him home because they are nice chewing. They are nice to eat. But I'm just happy to actually get him past the sharks. That was a great win in itself. We'll measure him and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do. Jeez. It's on? Yeah, it's on. It's not doing much. But geez, it hit hard. Wasn't even moving it then. That's not very big. Oh. Tiny cobe. Nah, is it a cobe or a remora? A remora. That's a remora. <laughs> oh, of all things. Do you want the net for that? Nah. <laughs> Embarrassing. <sighs> oh, that's a hit. Yep, yep, yep. 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 What do we got? Oh, now we've got a shark, I reckon. Oh. Oh. oh, that's coming. Come on, baby. Valley for sure with these donkey. His head shakes. Trevally like that. Yeah. Valley though on that rod. Yeah. I hope this is a nice golden. Oh, what has happened? Oh no, I still got it. Felt like one of the trebles came out though. Oh. Playing erratic now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's going for a body run. Oh. Oh, man. I had him. That gets you excited as a jig fisherman. Check that out. Fish stacked up. Stacked up. So the tide's going this way slightly still, so I'm casting this vibe upstream about 10 meters. So by the time it hits the bottom, I'm pretty much straight up and down. Using that tide to your advantage, especially when your lure's a bit lighter. A jig, not so much to worry because it's heavy, you can go straight down. The vibe sort of casting upstream helps. Makes you keep in contact with it longer when you're straight above it, vertical up and down, the vibe, rather than out on a 45 degree downward angle to the water. Got a big fella. Something solid. You turned him, he's definitely still a fish. Keep going. Oh, what happened? I got my vibe back. You lost it? I lost it. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, come on. <sighs> it hasn't taken drag yet. Oh, now it has. Guys, just wrapping up today's session. It was pretty manic there at times. We've got a few fish. What did we get? We've got a 110 centimeter queenie, little cobia on the vibe, and a mackerel as well on the jig. But geez, we lost a bit of equipment today. Um, it was an expensive morning. We've lost, how many did you lose? Uh, four. 
You lost four and I lost four. I lost two jigs and two vibes and you lost four jigs. Saddest part is, you know, we lost a couple to mackerel. Fair enough, you get snipped off. But probably 75% of those losses were actually where we had hooked the fish. It wasn't biting us off. But then a shark came in and nailed it, which isn't much fun because you can't win. You cannot beat a shark to the top, no matter how hard you go, not giving them an inch. There's not much you can do about it when they're three meter whalers and, and bullies and two and a half meter bullies and all that. So they're decent sharks and just, yeah, we can't keep up with those guys. So manic, manic, manic. That's how I described this morning, but lots of action. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.